With the Impact LX keyboard controller, the tedious work of mapping your software to your controller is done for you. You can quickly show or hide the mix console to start working on your mix. You can check for trouble spots in your mix by either muting or soloing individual channels. Channel volume can be controlled in banks of eight. And the LX has built-in soft takeover. It'll even tell you which way to go to sync up with your software. You'll never have to worry about Cubase's parameters jumping. Nice. In mixer mode, panning is controlled by the encoders, making it easy to place sounds in the stereo field. Ever look down at your controller and had to guess which fader does what? The ninth fader will always control whichever track is currently selected. You can make quick adjustments and not have to try a few faders to find the one you want. It makes things easier for you and saves you time. Okay, that's right about where I want it. And by the way, the ninth fader can also be used to control master volume as well. Let's get to working on a specific section of our song now. The transport will allow us to stop, start, and even turn the click on or off. But one of my favorite things is being able to use the fast forward and rewind buttons to set loop in and out points. I can set my loop ending point to be right here, and we can start from the beginning of the loop using the LX as well. Great, our loop is now set, so let's work on a different aspect of our song right now. So now I can use the LX to select one of my virtual instruments. And let's go ahead and solo it. So, so far you've seen the LX be able to pull up or hide the mix console, but we can also do the same thing for virtual instrument interfaces. The encoders will be mapped out to whatever gives you the biggest impact on sound. So you can change things like filter cutoff, resonance, and even distortion. The faders are also mapped out in a really smart way. They're set up to control things like your amp envelope and your filter envelope. Nice. But there will be times when you want to have very specific control over your virtual instrument. Reassigning a parameter is easy. So let's say on this delay, I want to control the mix knob. I can hold down shift on my LX keyboard, touch the parameter with my mouse that I want to change, and then move the knob that I want it assigned to. Awesome. Let's bring in the rest of our tracks and dial in that delay. Perfect. It's nice to have the mapping taken care of for you, but it's also nice to be able to take control when you need it. So let's take a second so I can show you how the pads work. We'll select our Groove Agent 1 virtual instrument. The LX's eight pads are mapped out just as you'd expect them to be. But if you have an instrument that uses more than eight pads, you can quickly switch to a different pad map. We'll stick to pad map one and actually want to go through and change one of the sounds on these pads. All you have to do is hit pad learn, hit the pad that you want to edit, it'll say pad four in this case, and find the sound that you want. Once you're done, hit pad learn, and that's it. It's easy. You don't have to mess around with MIDI note numbers and all that other stuff. Creativity can be sidelined quickly in your studio. The Impact LX keeps you in your flow, so you can focus on making music. <laughs>